What's up, Space Pirates? This is your captain, the Dread Pirate, Dr. Disaster, and there has been a supposed leak from Games Workshop and Amazon Prime, which suggests that Amazon may have been the ones responsible for pressuring Games Workshop into doing this female custodies nonsense. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? Well, the why is really pretty simple. Amazon, being the woke-ass company that it is, wanted a badass girl boss character in their upcoming Warhammer show, but they needed it to exist in the lore beforehand. It's virtually impossible to know if this rumor is correct without more information, but I will say this. There is at least one reason why I suspect there might be something to this rumor, which I will share in a few minutes. But basically, if this rumor is correct, then Amazon is the one taking a dump in our yard. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. And also, don't forget to follow me over on Twitter where my handle is Dr. Disaster one But without further ado, I want to examine this rumor completely and then explain why I think there is at least some truth to it. Some of it seems like it could be bullshit, mind you. Hell, all of it might be for all I know, but let's take a look. This was posted on 4chan a few days ago and has just been noticed by the 40k community. It says, female custodies are only going to be mentioned in the codex. There will be no new sculptures or characters after the codex. The social media department jumped the gun and tried to put out the fires with the wrong hose. And once again, it's those damned community managers. Those guys suck! I tell you what, guys, if I were in charge of one of these big corporations, I don't even know if I'd even hire a community manager, not unless it was someone with absolutely no signs of wokeness. I think the interview process would be just me asking the candidate to grill a steak. If that thing wasn't practically still mooing when they served it to me, then they wouldn't get the job. But anyway, getting back to it, the supposed leak says the intent was to push the female custodies character in the Amazon show without it breaking lore because Amazon executives wanted a woman in power armor and wouldn't settle for the sisters of battle. What the hell is wrong with you? Seriously, what is wrong with these people? Why the hell wouldn't they want the sisterhood? I'm still new to the Warhammer lore, as I've been saying, I have been picking it up over the last year or so since Magic the Gathering printed those Warhammer cards. But from what I gather of the Sisterhood, they seem freaking cool. But anyhow, the alleged leak continues, saying people involved in the show are pissed because they've been moving ahead on Eisenhorn talks of inserting said female custodies into the Eisenhorn story with Henry Cavill threatening to walk away from the project. There was a small stock drop today, but Games Workshop figures it can ride it out if it stays mum on the subject. And if we take a look real quick at the Games Workshop stock chart, they have indeed dropped after this whole debacle began. The stock is down from its recent high of $130.69 down to $121.10. That is a drop of roughly 7.5%. That isn't exactly catastrophic, but it isn't exactly good either. 
If we can keep talking about this and keep pushing our message out there, then maybe we can affect some change. So share this video and videos like this to get our message out. But in any event, the leak then continues. They, meaning Games Workshop, really need better social media employees. I've been saying it. I've been saying it for 10 damn years. Ain't I been saying it, Miguel? Huh? I've been saying it. And this is where I think there might be at least a kernel of truth to this thing. You see, the argument that Games Workshop defenders are using to defend this lore change is the fact that, oh, the lore changes all the time. They paint the picture that Warhammer is actually just an amorphous blob that is whatever the creators want it to be at the time. And that, of course, is silly. You can't just fundamentally change things in a franchise all willy-nilly and have it remain the same product. Eventually, it ceases to be what it once was. What if, for example, one day, George R. R. Martin decided that actually Daenerys in Game of Thrones was no longer the mother of dragons. She's now the mother of drakes, or unicorns, or fire-breathing potatoes. That's stupid! You're stupid! Stop being stupid! Well, that changes things, doesn't it? It's no longer the same story. But, in all fairness and truth, there have been changes to the lore in Warhammer many times, and people may have grumbled, but it didn't cause an uproar. But this time? Well, this time, the social media managers decided to go all 1984 on our ass and claim that this had always been the case. Why would they do that? Why would they gaslight us? They never did it before. They would always say, ah, well, we're changing things just because we're changing them. But this was received so much worse because they are bullshitting us. They are gaslighting us. And this is what makes me suspect there is at least some nuggets of truth to this leak. It all lines up perfectly with this abnormal behavior from Games Workshop. Perhaps they were just trying to appease Amazon. But if this is true, and if Henry Cavill is threatening to walk away from the project based on this lore change that someone like him would not approve of, being the consummate gamer-turned-celebrity that he likes to throw himself out there being, well, they might have shot themselves in the foot, because the show will be boycotted big time, especially if Henry Cavill isn't there to lend some air of legitimacy to the thing. But in any event, I'm gonna leave it there. What do you think about this rumor? Do you think it's true, or is it bullshit? Or is it some combination of the two? Drop your explanations down in the comments below, and we will discuss them there. Thanks for watching, me hearties. If you haven't already, your captain is inviting you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the crew. Life as a space pirate may not be glamorous, but there's always plenty of booty.